Prime Minister Pham Min Chin leaves for expanded BRICS summit in Russia. Israel confirms killing of presumed next leader of Hezbollah. Development of organ donation and transplantation techniques, prospects and challenges. Welcome to today's news. My name is Nguyen Thuong and I will be your guide through today's latest update. Prime Minister Phạm Minh Ching and a high-ranking delegation of Vietnam left Hanoi on Wednesday morning for the expanded BRICS summit in Kazan city of Russia at the invitation of President Vladimir Putin, chair of BRICS 2024. The Prime Minister's visit to the 2024 BRICS summit takes place in the context of the traditional friendship and comprehensive strategic partnership between Vietnam and the Russian Federation continuing to develop well. This year, the two countries celebrate the 30th anniversary of the signing of the Treaty on the Basic Principles of Friendship Relations. In 2025, the two countries will celebrate the 75th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Vietnam and the Russian Federation. Prime Minister Chin's attendance underscores Vietnam's foreign policy of independence, self-reliance, and diversification of international relations. The trip reflects Vietnam's commitment to being a reliable partner and active global player while strengthening multilateral diplomacy. Israel has confirmed the killing of Hashem Shafidain, presumed the next leader of Hezbollah, in an airstrike on southern Beirut earlier in October. The airstrike targeted Hezbollah's underground intelligence headquarters in Beirut. According to the Israel Defense Forces IDF, the airstrike also killed 25 other leaders, including senior commanders. The IDF suspected that the potential leader of Hezbollah was killed, but it was the first time Israel confirmed the killing of the most senior political official in Hezbollah. Currently, the Hezbollah movement has not immediately responded to Israel's announcement. Safadin, 60 years old, is the most potential figure to become the supreme leader of Hezbollah after leader Hassan Nasrallah was killed in an Israeli airstrike in the capital Beirut in the early morning of September 28. U.S. President Joe Biden said on Tuesday, Republican Donald Trump is a threat to democracy and should be locked up politically, as he accosted Democrat at a New Hampshire campaign office. The White House later explained that the U.S. leader's statement meant removing former President Trump from politics or preventing him from being elected. According to President Biden, former President Trump disregarded constitutional protections. President Biden emphasized that democracy would be threatened if former President Trump defeated Vice President Kamala Harris. This year, during rallies for Harris, her crowd sometimes chant, lock him up, referring to Trump, who is embroiled in a series of legal troubles with various accusations. But Harris shuts down the chants, saying the Justice Department will handle that issue. According to the latest poll results, Kamala Harris is leading her opponent Donald Trump by nearly three percentage points. Coming up next are some updated news. As of October 20th, Nguyen province has dispersed over 52 percent, higher than the same period last year. The remaining undispersed capital is nearly 2,620 billion Vietnamese dongs, of which 2,210 billion Vietnamese dongs is planned for 2024 and 409 billion Vietnamese dongs is planned for previous years, extending to this year. At this point, the whole province has 16 units with disbursement below the average level and 4 units with disbursement above the average level. There are 314 out of 671 projects with disbursement rates below the average level of the province. The biggest reason for slow disbursement is due to problems in site clearance, paperwork, lack of supply of raw materials and human resources. To complete the disbursement target of 2024, the vice chairman of the Provincial People's Committee requested that units and investors must correctly perceive the situation, find the right causes, propose the right solutions and focus on drastic implementation, 
in order to complete the right target. In a report submitted to the National Assembly, the government highlighted that relying on official development assistance ODA, loans would impose various obligations to foreign donors. Instead, using domestic resources would ensure greater autonomy and flexibility in executing the project. The government has proposed allocating domestic capital, including the state budget, for the construction of the North-South High-Speed Railway over a 12-year period, averaging US$5.6 billion in annual investment. The implementation process will mobilize a variety of legal capital sources for investment. The pressure on 5,000 km of expressway by 2030 is not great, so the medium-term public investment plan in the coming period can be balanced for high-speed railway. According to data from the Chinese Customs, in the first eight months of 2024, Vietnam became China's largest banana supplier, with exports reaching nearly 460,000 tons, worth 189.82 million United States dollars, up 19.6% in volume and 0.8% in value over the same period last year. This means that Vietnam's banana industry has overtaken the Philippines as the top supplier and is gaining an advantage in the Chinese market. The primary reason is believed to be unfavorable weather conditions in the Philippines, which led to reduced production and higher prices. Along with the advancement of medicine, Organ transplantation is a promising field that had opened up opportunity for many patients. However, one of the current challenges is the source of donated organ to meet the demand. In addition to people's awareness and concept, legal procedures are also one of the barriers that keep the number of organ donation low. At Guillain General Hospital the unit has just been assessed and licensed by the Ministry of Health to establish an organ transplant center. Doctors and nurses have coordinated with the central hospital to successfully perform kidney transplantation from a brain-dead donor twice. In response to the increasing demand of patients, the hospital has prepared human and material resources to continue implementing this technique. The hospital has prepared facilities, equipment, and human resources for organ donation and transplantation to implement two techniques, liver and kidney donation and transplantation. Currently, there are tens of thousands of people waiting for organ transplants nationwide. This number continues to increase every day. However, only 16 hospitals nationwide have a unit to mobilize tissue and organ donation and 6 out of 26 organ transplant hospitals have performed brain death diagnosis to carry out tissue and organ donation procedures. According to experts, this is one of the reasons why the rate of tissue and organ donation from brain dead donors in Vietnam is still low and has not increased in the past 10 years. It is very necessary to amend the conditions and procedures for organ donation and transplantation to suit practical needs, as well as legal regulations. According to the National Organ Transplant Coordination Center, in the past 10 years, nearly 170 brain-dead people have donated organs nationwide. In the first nine months of this year alone, this number was 25 cases, an increase of 11 cases compared to last year. Despite this encouraging number, the organ donation rate in Vietnam is still low, with only about 102,000 donors per 100 million people. This is a big challenge for doctors and patients waiting for a chance to live. To promote organ donation, it is necessary to have the participation of functional agencies, especially the role of the media to help people realize the great significance of organ donation. In fact, in the past, about 94% of organ transplants in the country were still from living donors, mainly kidney and liver donations. This is in stark contrast to developing countries where the main source of organs is from brain-dead and heart-dead donors. 
In Vietnam today, on average, only 0.15% of organ donations come from brain-dead donors. Meanwhile, this rate in European and North American countries is up to 50 to 60 percent. That is the end of today's news. Thanks for your watching and see you next time.